Hey Fire Signs and welcome to my channel. I'm here doing your daily love reading for Thursday the 17th. This is for Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, um, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This will not fit with everybody, so take what you want, leave what don't, and, I, and enjoy the reading. All right, let's see what we got going on for today. Spirit Angels, what do we got going on for Thursday the 17th in love for fire signs? All right. The Nine of Cups is your first card out, followed by the Eight of Wands and the Seven of Swords. The person that you are connecting with has the Five of Cups in reverse, the Empress, and the Eight of Cups. Your guys' outcome is the Seven of Wands, the Two of Pentacles in reverse, and the Page of Cups. Your bottom of the deck and shared energy is the Hierophant, clarified by the Ten of Wands and the Six of Swords. Your guys' uh, bottom of the deck is the Lovers in reverse, followed by the Four of Wands. So, somebody is finally making a choice. Somebody had a it looks like a third party situation going on here, whether air or fire signs, you were the one with a third party or you were the one in a third party that is coming to an end. Somebody that you are connecting with, or this is you, um, is married. So if you're not the one married, this is your person you're dealing with energy. If you are the one married, this is you. You feel you are tied and bound to somebody. Um, and it's really weighing you down. The energy is, uh, not very positive. You feel like you carry the burden of the relationship. You feel like you're responsible for everything. And you're just about ready to walk up to the tower and set those, um, those burdens down. This six of swords is also here. So you are following your inner guide, following your inner voice and moving forward, moving on, moving away from this marriage that is, um, only bringing you down. Um, there was, it was a good marriage at one time. I do feel you could be, um, with an air sign, a fire sign or a Taurus, um, or whoever is married is with an air, fire or Taurus. Um, you feel like, or this person, whoever this is, um, I feel like they're almost lost finding their way to the tower. So you could be like feeling lost and it's, you're holding back moving forward and, or the person that you are dealing with is holding back for some reason. I just feel like they feel lost, but that is coming to an end. This marriage, if you're waiting for somebody to leave somebody, that is going to happen. If you are the one who is leaving somebody, that is going to happen because the first card out here is the nine of cups in the upright wishes coming true. Um, celebrating, uh, because you're, because you're happy because something great is happening in your life, but this is really, um, your prayers being answered. This is really the, the month you could have been separated for nine months, nine weeks, um, nine years, but this is finally, after all this time, all these, all this time that you've been filling your own cups, this is finally somebody coming in and answering your prayers. Um, you are getting communication from somebody that you had a cheating scenario with in the past, whether once again, you are the third party or you had the third party, the third party is getting contacted. And this is somebody that you, this is the third party to this situation. Somebody that you snuck around in the dark with or um, snuck around with period, you are getting your prayers answered because they are communicating to you or you are to them. Um, the person you are dealing with, they had a lot of emotions to get over. They could, there could have been some depression over what they had to give up in order to get this, uh, two of cups that is still behind them. Um, there was a lot of sadness around moving on past this um, third party. Uh, the Empress is also known as the mistress at times. This could be, um, but they are mourning the loss of leaving somebody that they created a life with at one time, 
or the mother of their children, or a Taurus, one of those three. Um, this is somebody that they were in a commitment with. This is somebody they are married to. They are married to this person. So it's somebody, they either have their children or they have children with this person, or it's just somebody they've created a life with. With the Hierophant and the Empress, so I do feel it is a Taurus somewhere in their chart. They had to mourn the loss of leaving this person and their children or um, taking their children and leaving however the situation fits and moving on away from the situation that they're emotionally invested in, but they're emotionally exhausted from. There is uh, a lot of time that was put into this relationship. And at one time the cups were full, but they're having a hard time walking away from this table when there's nothing left there for them. The cups are upside down. They're stacked up. There's no way to fill them back up. And they had to mourn that. They had to get through that. In this separation, they healed from this. Um, but it was not easy for them to make this choice. Uh, <clears throat> so the outcome for you, fire signs, is a seven of wands. You're feeling successful, but you also feel like um, you're the only one fighting to keep all the other people away. You're the one that is fighting for this connection. Um, it also is in the past, this person was defensive about what was taking them so long to decide what it is they want. And that was coming from both parties, the spouse and the mistress, um, because the spouse did know about the mistress, whether that was your spouse or theirs. Um, the two of pentacles is here in reverse. So there is going to be no more juggling. There is going to be no more back and forth energy. There's not going to be any more he han or ho hums. Um, because because they, um, either you or they are no longer wanting to exhaust themselves juggling between all these energies. They are going to come forward and offer, um, love to you. This isn't going to be a big offer and be cautious because this spouse may not be out of the picture yet. As you see with the page of cubs, there are still three people in the card, but they are moving. This is movement. This is movement. They have two cards of moving away from whoever it is they were married to um, and moving into um, a direction of choice. With the two of pentacles here, the lovers here, there is a choice being made. And I do feel they're going to come to you and make this offer of love, make this offer of commitment, and this offer of a new beginning. Let's see what the after tarot has for us. What comes from these seven of wands for our fire signs? Oops. What comes from the seven of wands for our fire signs? Good Thursday. Thank you. All right. So um, because you guarded this relationship because you stood up for what you wanted, there is going to be progress made The and it's their choosing. If you feel you are in a divine, this is a divine connection. They are choosing the one that they feel is a divine connection as well, because you have the eight of pentacles here and three of them are encased, which is you, your partner and spirit. So you're going to work on your divine connection no matter who you got to keep out, you're both going to fight to make this work because it is, <clears throat> excuse me, it is divinely guided. All right. The two of pentacles is clarified by the nine of cups, realizing that uh, you're not in this alone. Your prayers are being answered. They are now joining you. And the energy will not be so back and forth. So in and out. So one day hot, one day cold, they are coming forward and they are making your wishes come true. They are filling your cups as you are them. What leads from the page of cups here for our fire signs? What leads? Yeah. The bottom of your deck is the 10 of pentacles. So moving into a uh, situation of abundance, but what comes from the their love offer is the reunion of soulmates. This is your person from a past life because this is a divine connection and you are coming together. With so many cups here, 
you are following your heart. You are letting your emotions move you in the direction of what you are meant to go and not letting your mind talk your heart out of things, as is your partner. This is somebody that you are going to create a 10 of pentacles life with full of abundance. I'm just going to get a clarifier on this lovers in reverse. What comes from this lovers in reverse? Whoa. All right. Yeah, we got another page of cups, a queen of pentacles, and the king of cups. So um, what comes from this lovers in reverse is they are going to choose to follow their heart with the king of cups here. They will start out making a page of cups offer um, because right now that's all they have. They have to work on refilling their cup as well themselves. They have to rejuvenate themselves. They will follow their heart. They will come forward. Um, and choose to nurture a loving relationship with you. Let's see why this four, what comes of this four of wands. All right. They're going to take that leap of faith. They're going to choose you fire sign, um, heavy Aries here, especially, but they are choosing to build a new life with you. They're going to do it. They're going to take that leap of faith and they're going to move away from this commitment that was full of burden and heaviness and allow spirit, allow their inner guide to move them forward. So that is what I have for you guys for Thursday. I hope you have a beautiful day and I will see you next time. I send you love, healing light, and God bless.